the reason why it's difficult for me to find the perfect spouse partner for me is because my understanding of how to navigate in a relationship might be a little deeper than I wouldn't say deeper let's just say a little different than most people I believe that when you find a woman or a woman finds a man, I believe that here's here's where I'm coming from with it, right? This derives from, I believe I heard a man say something about he gets so frustrated that his woman don't listen to him. And then I saw a video of a younger lady saying she not gonna listen to her man. Nobody get to tell her nothing. She gonna do what she want, when she want, until somebody put a ring on her finger. That happens. My thing with that is, I don't want a woman I ever have to tell what to do. If, you, if you've accepted me as your man, then you've accepted me. This was, this was your vote. This was you allowing me to sit in a leadership position at the head of the table. This is you giving me the final say. But you still get to disagree. But I want a woman that can be her own self all the time. I don't want to tell you what to do. And I don't want a woman that's going to be trying to tell me what to do. You don't need to navigate me. Where you're best in your... Where you're best at. Your best tools, that's when I'll let you drive. So say for instance, my best tools is not dealing with anger. But if my lady there, I know that she deals with anger way better than I do. That's when I'll let her drive. When she see me getting all wound up, that's when I listen to my lady when she's telling me, hey baby, tone it down just a little bit. Watch it, you know how you get. See what I'm saying? But she ain't telling me what to do. And that's the problem I have with people who think that just cause this is your woman and you're the man, you cause shots on this person's life. I don't get that part. You tell her how to dress, you tell her she can't be alone with men, you tell her all of these things. It confuses me because I, I try to imagine a woman telling me these things. The one thing that nobody is going to control is whether or not somebody's going to cheat on you. They're not. You see what I'm saying? If somebody's going to cheat on you, they're going to do it anyways. Just keeping them away from men. I don't want you over there. I don't want you over there. That says she got that cheat spirit. And if she has a cheating spirit, she gonna do it regardless. See what I'm saying? So, on that note, my whole thing is this. I don't care if my woman is alone with men at her job, at some function, or at a club. I will hope that I don't have a cheating woman who's happy she has a man like me and can't wait to get on to me. But the last thing I want to do is micromanage her life for fear that she might trip and fall on somebody's anatomy. <laughs> right? And I don't want her worried that I went to a function where there's so many women. I'm going to go and I'm going to behave like a nigga who got a man. I mean a woman. You know what I mean? I'm going to behave like a man who's in a relationship. Trust is just that. Trusting that your fucking other is focused on you because he committed to this. It's like I go and get a job. You trust I'm going to do the job. You don't need to be here with me. You hired me for the job and I'm going to do the job. When you come back, the job's going to be done. This relationship, when I get into it and make a commitment to it, oh, I'm going to be your man. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to be a help, not a hinder. I'm going to be a great partner. I'm going to be a team player where you can pass me the ball and I ain't going to bog. Like, I'm here for you. I've decided I want to do it with someone. Do you know what I'm saying? Navigate life with a partner. Because right now I can do anything I want on the globe. I'm living my motherfucking life. And some woman is somewhere living her motherfucking life. And then oh, the two of us come together, we got to give up the way we was living our life. 
instead of just coming together and be like, wow, we doing a bunch of stuff. I never thought to do this to I met you. A relationship don't have to be conflict. A relationship don't have to be hard. A relationship don't have to be attacking. A relationship should not be defensive. A relationship definitely ain't having to call a medical at two in the morning because somebody's hurt. A relationship ain't got nothing to do with the police, so it should never be that. That ain't love, it's not a relationship. I don't know. I don't know. I think everybody should be able to navigate life. I think it's bigger than just you joined with somebody and now you're not gonna fulfill other purposes that you were born to fulfill. You still gotta live. You still gotta chase your dreams. You still gotta follow your goals. You still have to do other shit. So how could you be in a relationship with somebody telling you, you can't go here, you can't do this. You Who signs up for that shit? People wait to get out of jail just so they can do what they wanna do. So who signs up to go into a relationship where now you got all of these rules just because of somebody else's insecurity? Some man who don't want you around because he think that you so, do he think that you just so nasty and promiscuous that you can't be left alone with a man? Or are you gonna drop your drawers? Do we think that? Or is that what women think? That other women that might be around your man is so nasty that they, he just gonna whip it out, he just met him today and he's gonna do the thing with him. If you're that insecure, you shouldn't be in a relationship, I said it. Because you're only adding stress to yourself. Because if you're that insecure, the last thing you need to be is stressing every time somebody that you with leaves. Just be single. That way you don't have to worry about this. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's my vent for the day. My thoughts.